Hi, I'm Colleen Davis, Delaware State Treasurer, and I am just back from Cote d'Ivoire, a wonderful nation in the West African tropic area. Myself and a group of uh, delegation from Delaware went over on a trade mission. And one of the things that we know of Delaware is we're known for very strong agricultural production. Um, we know that the science and technology behind some of our latest developments have really contributed to uh, the agronomy, as we call it, the agricultural economy of Delaware, which is so strong. Um, other key factors that the delegation brought with them is not only their know-how on agriculture and um, some of the best practices, but also a sense of how we can educate the population very, very young population that uh, has a high unemployment rate of 22% and uh, help them to become more vocationally uh, trained and prepared for um, a workforce that really needs them to be productive. And that will include housing and construction. And so in our delegation, we brought with us uh, folks from the Department of Agriculture, Jimmy Kroon, uh, myself, um, as well as members of uh, the irrigation uh, businesses, construction businesses, and educational businesses, all looking to help to support the nation and their needs. The folks that were with me were um, individuals who have growing businesses, who truly are interested in establishing themselves in Cote d'Ivoire. And um, I, as the um, Cote d'Ivoire's economy evolves and grows, they'll be able to participate in some of that prosperity, as well as ensure that local individuals are learning the trades um, and, uh, and understand best business practices from, um, from these business owners who have also committed to doing that. What we've seen, just as an example from a crop perspective, we went out to a few farms and we found that at a corn uh, site where there's corn crop growing, the expectation of the Walls irrigation team is that within the first three years, they're expecting to increase by an average of 50% the, the crop yield for each of the plots that we saw. And over a few additional years, they expect to see a triple of the yield of some of the products. And that would not only feed citizens, but also help to feed and support livestock. And I think the other part of this is ensuring that there's a workforce to help support that. One last thing that Cote d'Ivoire brought us to try to address was their housing needs. They know that in the immediate moment, their current status is that there are about 800,000 homes short of housing um, their, their residents, their citizens. They also have an influx of um, migrants across the border from nations whose governments have a, a little bit more uh, turmoil to deal with. And as that influx continues to occur and their, their um, population continues to grow, they know that just meeting that 800,000 housing unit goal is very quickly going to become um, exponentially uh, uh, multiplied before it becomes solved. And we want to come in and help them to do that uh, they are very open to demonstrating different partnerships in different areas, um, and the DiSabatino uh, construction team is very confident that they're able to um, meet those needs on a, um, on a scaled basis. So I am absolutely thrilled because these three entities are considering coming together as one unit to look for um, ways in which they can work together to house a workforce, to train a workforce, to feed a growing country and 
to train and share those agricultural best practices so that we can um, ensure that that people are growing and prospering. Uh, I'm, I'm blown away by all of the ideas that came of this and truly was honored to be with such amazing and, and um, honorable people. 